Welcome to Amit's True Sense. In this video, we are going to have a discussion which country I should choose for higher education. Uh, I have put the list of the points uh, that kind of uh, I look for, but uh, everybody is different. Everybody has different goals, uh, so that's not gonna be like okay, 100 percent. But it will give you some idea when uh, I was a student or when I started, and now I work as a professional in uh, um, as a software engineer. Uh, what I learn over the years, or what points I will consider. So if uh, you are are a student right now and you are considering uh, uh, to go for your higher studies uh, and you want to choose a country so maybe these are the some points that you can uh, uh, you know brainstorm and think about it before you uh, apply for uh, uh, higher education in those countries uh, so if I will be you first of all uh, first of all I will look uh, for scholarships and free education uh, so if there is a country that uh, offers a scholarships uh, let's say in the United States of America if you are coming for master degree uh, you can get a GA graduate assistantship or a TA teacher assistantship uh, I have a video on that one you can take a look on that uh, uh, if uh, you uh, in Germany uh, or Sweden or Finland uh, at one point the education was free but now they are charging some amount it so if you are uh, a really smart person and uh, you can get a scholarship uh, or even you are not smart but uh, you are applying in different schools and uh, telling them you can do things uh, and uh, there is some scholarship available you will go for that so uh, belonging to a mid middle class family uh, this is one of the preference I would have it okay if the country is uh, uh, providing scholarships or there is from some free type of education second part allow work during studies so this is a uh, more important like uh, okay if the scholarship is not there the free education is not there that's fine but does the country allow me to work while I study like in the United States of America you can work 20 hours on campus and on campus getting jobs are very difficult uh, there are a lot of students and uh, you will have very less chances to get the job on campus so in uh, other uh, other case uh, Canada Canada does allow you to work 20 hours and you can work outside the, the school so that's good thing and Australia does the same thing so there are countries you need to know if you can work uh, out of uh, outside uh, uh, college or university where you are studying so that helps to pay your uh, some fee for living and all those kind of things uh, the third part is work visa offer after studies so this is uh, the most thing I will look into bec because even though the education is not free I'm okay with that I can work uh, um, part-time jobs and I can get some uh, money as a loan from my parents and all that but I would look for a country okay if uh, they offer me to work in that country after I complete my study so let's say a lot of uh, my friends, uh, they went to Cyprus uh, when we finish our high school and uh, Cyprus doesn't have a whole lot of uh, 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 jobs there and it's a small country. So uh, yes, uh, you go there, you want to get out of the country, oh I want to be in some better country, you go uh, pay uh, tuition and uh, get your degree but after you're done, what you're going to do? You're going to be in a small country, there are no jobs to offer. So I would love to see, uh, you want to apply for uh, America like, because uh, if you are completely your master degree with the STEM or science and techn technology engineering or math you get three years uh, OPT that's a uh, kind of time frame where you can find a job so where you can land in a job so I would like love to uh, emphasize on number three that's most important for me if I'm finishing my degree paying in dollars in America Canada Australia and or any other country does they let me work in their country so I can recover my expenses and make some money out of that uh, so th th this is uh, I will s uh, suggest everybody if you are looking to go to a country and study if you are considering yourself uh, pay, spending a lot of money uh, look for like where you can work and gain some experience from that country as well uh, after your studies uh, and path to immigration is for if uh, you are coming from develop developing countries such as India or Pakistan or Nepal or Bhutan or uh, Africa I will suggest uh, look into the uh, if uh, after your higher education, uh, you can become an immigrant in developed country where you did your studies. Uh, so I came to America and uh, I'm, um, I got my citizenship uh, through this uh, work process. Like, okay, so I came student, got my work visa, and then I finally got green card and citizenship. Uh, so you want to apply for those countries. Let's say um, Finland is a uh, country in uh, Europe and uh, they don't, uh, ha let's, let's, I'm just giving an example. They don't have any path to immigration. So what you're going to do after your higher studies uh, so you have to go back uh, you have spent a lot of money uh, so you want to choose the countries uh, which does provide uh, path to the immigration such as America so 
finish your degree do you do you uh, convert your f1 work visa uh, to, to sorry uh, f1 student visa to the work visa h1b visa and then uh, from there uh, you apply for a green card and all that same goes for canada so uh, and australia and new zealand so uh, go to the countries uh, if you want to settle down after studies at least they have paid to the immigration so you can become a, a citizen there uh, five, fifth uh, i will look for a country where um, majority people are speaking english that really helps because i have seen uh, students uh, going to the uh, europe uh, germany and uh, netherlands uh, and other countries and uh, start their bachelor degree uh, struggling with the language and also those countries are uh, small countries so even you learn the language then maybe you will not end up in a job after your studies and then you have to come to another country such as america or canada or australia or new zealand where the people speak english so i will go for a country where english is a kind of primary uh, speaking language if you are really interested to learn a language let's say you want to become a german um, language expert so yes then go to germany so if you want to become a dutch expert you go to uh, you know netherlands so uh, six number i will see multicultural environment or international community uh, so that's very important for me uh, what i notice like okay if you belong to uh, like so, so you're asian you want to get your food you know you want to have uh, some get together you want to enjoy the uh, different uh, festivals so if you have uh, people in that country that really kind of keep you um, happy you meet those people you eat the food what you've been eating uh, at your home so that helps you know um, well, last thing I will say worldwide uh, acknowledgement of a degree if you are going to Cyprus or going to very small country just because you want to get out, out of the country I do not suggest uh, uh, those kind of uh, you know uh, higher education I suggest the higher education to the country which uh, uh, when you take that degree the world uh, really recognize that degree so let's say if you go to China you have done really good research there you come back to Pakistan or India people say okay he, he went to this school and uh, that school is uh, really accredited and uh, it is a, a good school uh, or any other country you want to go you want to make sure uh, the school is accredited accredited and uh, um, the degree is uh, uh, really respected uh, uh, around the world for that school so i thank you very much i hope uh, these all these points when you can make a decision to come to the country for higher education uh, you will kind of give a uh, thought about that and whatever per fits for you everybody has different goals so whatever works for you uh, my my uh, best wishes are with you and uh, thanks very much for uh, spending time with me go ahead subscribe i will make more videos on uh, um, student visas and all that uh, thank you